We spend a lot of time tearing down flagship devices, but this year, there were a compelling number of mid-range devices that we thought deserved the full teardown treatment. So we put together a list of the most repairable mid-range devices released in 2020, or at least the most repairable mid-range devices that we were able to get our hands on. While almost all of the mid-range phones we've torn down scored a perfectly mid-range 6 out of 10 on our repairability scale, there was one outlier that scored lower. That outlier is the Samsung A51. With a glued-on plastic back cover and both a battery and display that require a ton of disassembly to replace, the A51 comes in at the bottom of our list, earning a 4 out of 10. But if you do decide to pick up an A51, you can take some comfort in the fact that it only uses a single screw type and there are quite a few modular components. The A51 is also part of Samsung's new push to bring three years of software updates to their phones, which is great. Google's Pixel 4a would have been a strong contender for one of the most repairable phones of 2020, but some puzzling design choices killed those hopes. The screen is the first thing to come off, and it comes off easily thanks to some foamy adhesive like we saw in the Pixel 3a, but once you get past the screen, repair gets a little tricky thanks to some crisscross fragile flex cables which connect the rear case to the rest of the internals, getting your motherboard or any of the components on the midframe requires some precarious positioning during disassembly and reassembly. That doesn't mean repairs are impossible for the 4A though, it still earns a very respectable 6 out of 10. The screen comes off first, which makes screen repairs easy, the battery uses some pretty ingenious pull tabs, even if they are hidden, and all of the screws are standard T3 Torx. Like Samsung, Google has also committed to three years of software updates for all of their Pixel phones, including the 4A. One other thing to point out about the first two phones in this lineup is that their rear cases are both plastic and not glass, and though this might make them feel cheap to some people, it actually goes a long way to improve their durability. OnePlus's Nord has yet to make it to the US, but our European counterparts were able to secure one and their teardown revealed a fairly repairable phone. Not only do you need one driver to complete a full disassembly, but most of the components are modular and can be individually replaced and the battery can be removed with a decent, but not perfect, pull tab. Combine that with the fact that OnePlus is offering replacement parts right on their website for almost all of their phones, and you've got a mid-range phone we can get behind. The OnePlus Nord is notably the only 5G phone in this list, so if you're looking for 5G connectivity, this phone is the only option for you. And finally, our top pick for the most repairable mid-range smartphone is the 2020 iPhone SE. Not only are the two most commonly repaired components, the display and the battery, the easiest to replace of all the phones in the lineup, the iPhone SE also has a ton of components that are modular and cross-compatible with the iPhone 8, which means replacement parts are extremely easy to find and will probably be available for a long time. On top of all of that, the iPhone SE has the fastest, most efficient processor of the group. That means it will perform well for years to come. But wait, there's more! No budget phone comparison would be complete without also considering some used and refurbished options. Buying used or refurbished helps keep phones out of landfills and you can get a great deal on an upgrade. Right now, you can find a refurbished iPhone XS for about $500 on back market, which is one of our favorite marketplaces for buying refurbished devices. And keep in mind that phone prices will drop even more after the new iPhone 12 comes out this fall. So even though it's a couple years old now, the iPhone XS still beats or competes with all the other phones on this list and scores a respectable 6 out of 10 on our repairability scale. And that's the end of our budget 2020 phone roundup. So if you're looking for a new smartphone, be sure to consider more than just the price. It's just as important to take into consideration how repairable the phone is and how long it will last. And if you're looking for more details on any of the phones that we covered in this roundup, we have links to the full teardown in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy fixing.